Lord God, O Lord God Almighty. You may hear people praying like this, and sometimes when I hear people praying like this, I have to wonder what kind of relationship they have with God. Perhaps they think of God as some abstract deity way off in the heavenly realms somewhere beyond Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Pluto, beyond the galaxies, distant, abstract, uh, and they're trying to reach out to him. Or they think of him they, as a, a deity who must be groveled before, who must be uh, praised because of his ego. He needs uh, his titles to be referred to. Is this the God that Jesus came to reveal? And is this the way Jesus, the Son of God, uh, prayed? <laughs> No, I mean, even when he was teaching his uh, disciples to pray, he said, Our Father. And Jesus came radically to introduce something uh, so different in Israel that had never been heard before. Uh, because he referred to God as my Father and saying to the Jews, You do not know my Father, for if you knew my Father, you would not be doing what you're doing. Jesus came to reveal a very different God from the God of Israel's imagination and the world's imagination. He came to reveal our Father, my Father, and the word Abba. Abba. This is the term of a child in Israel, uh, you'll hear it to this day, and in many Middle Eastern countries, sometimes when I'm on planes traveling, I'll hear little children calling to their fathers, Abba, Abba, Abba. For in Arabic, uh, it's the same word, Daddy, Dada. It's the term of dependency of a little child, Dada, Papa. It is the term of a heart-to-heart a heart -heart relationship. I want up, 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 up. I want to be with you. Uh, you're mine and I am yours. This is what Jesus came to reveal. And his prayer when he prayed was Abba, Abba Father. Okay, in the, in the Greek, uh, Patros uh, would be Father. But uh, in Mark, it's Abba is put right next to it so that we would see Oh, this is how Jesus was praying. So when we hear the word Father, that can even seem even a little bit distant because we may call a person Father if, you know, we've done something wrong. Father, uh, forgive me. Uh, but he's not, not that kind of daddy. He is the kind of daddy who is in deep relationship with his little children. And that's who we are, dependent little children. And that's how Jesus came to this earth as a dependent little child requiring his Abba to help him to walk with him in every part of his life. And especially at the Garden, Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prays, Abba, Father, you know, help, I need your help but not my will, but your will. I depend on you, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. I need you. And this is what Jesus revealed to us. He came to reveal that we have a good Daddy who can we can depend on through every part of our life, even at our most difficult point, at our darkest point, at the point when we're in deep suffering and sorrow, where we feel we're all alone. Our Abba Daddy is with us, helping us, carrying us through the darkness and into the light. Our Daddy is one we can talk to at all points and wants us to refer to him as Daddy or Papa or Abba or whatever our heart language is. In some language, it might be something like Tata or Baba, but it's that language of a little child. He doesn't require us to call him Lord God or God Almighty. It's fine to do that, but what we might reflect on if we're praying in that way is how do I see my father? How do I see him? Do I see him as daddy? The Holy Spirit has been sent into our hearts. It talks about this in Romans 8 and Galatians 4, that we are no longer slaves. You've been given the spirit of adoption that makes us sons. We're not slaves to fall back into fear. If we're fearing our daddy, 
That's not the kind of daddy who we have. Now, there is the fear of God, which is, uh, a wow, absolute reverence and awe. But their greatest reverence and awe is that intimacy with daddy is, I absolutely need you. You're my own daddy. Thank you for making me your own, making me your son, that I'm not your slave where I have to bow down and cower down before you to please you. But you're already pleased with me. Jesus has made it so. You've united me with yourself. Abba, daddy. We have the Spirit. The Holy Spirit teaches us to cry out, Abba, Father. And if we have Holy Spirit, he should be teaching us over and over. Our constant heart cry should be, Abba, Abba. <laughs> and it might sound foolish to say that, Abba, Daddy, especially in open prayer, you know, before people, it sounds oh so more pious to say, Lord God Almighty, most high God. But our greatest act of worship as sons, as co-heirs with Christ, is to say, Abba, Daddy, Papa, Tata, Baba. I love you. I need you. I thank you for being my daddy. I am one with you in Jesus. I'm close to you. The Holy Spirit has united me with you. You are my own and I am yours. I worship you. I love you. I give my whole self to you for you gave your whole self to me. This is our Abba, our daddy. He's most wonderful. <laughs> you can call him that definitely. Most wonderful daddy. Most glorious daddy. Most lovely daddy. Because he loves you more than he loves himself. What we have to do is get rid of these mythological images of what a father God is like, that he's like Zeus <laughs> or some other deity, angry, distant, waiting to punish us. Our daddy is most gracious, most forgiving, most loving. We don't use these words as merely uh, titles or actions, but as a loving relationship. You've been called into the deepest relationship, into the deepest hearts. Your home is his heart. You live right inside of him. He is your daddy. He is our daddy. And the good thing about this is as well when we realize, ah, oh, that's how much my daddy loves me, is we start to see, wow, my daddy is not just my daddy. He's our daddy. He's everyone's daddy. Everyone, all people, all families in heaven and on earth take their name from him, from Abba. There is one God and Father of all who is above all, through all, and in all. There is no one separated from our Abba. He is the Abba of everyone. And what Jesus came to show Israel is he's not just our God, our Father. He is the Abba of all. Everyone. So stop excluding people, he was showing Israel. <laughs> stop doing that. And he was chastising them because they didn't know him because of their ways of exclusion and living by the law. The law separates people and will tell the people who are the law keepers, I am keeping the law, therefore I'm the child of God. No, you're not the child of God by your deeds. You're the child of God by his grace, by his love, by his mercy. And Israel was doing that, the Pharisees, especially in the Jewish elites. And Jesus was saying, you are not acting like children of your father. You're acting like the older brother standing on the outside of the party saying, this son of yours is not, he's not even your son. He's, he's not even my brother. He has nothing to do with me. And sadly, that's the way some Christians act and the way they treat others, especially when they're sharing the gospel. Well, if you believe in Jesus, then you become a son of God. No, you are already a son of God. You are already beloved and accepted. Come home. Receive his love. He loves you unconditionally. He loves you more than he loves himself. This is the good news that Jesus came to share that your Abba Father is crazy about you. He is willing to give everything for you, and he wants nothing more than to spend eternity with you and showing you who you are and giving you everything. 
holding nothing back from you, absolutely nothing. This is a crazy God. He's a crazy daddy, and he's crazy about you. So brothers and sisters, I'm going to pray with you here, especially if you're one of those people struggling with maybe some daddy issues. I'm going to pray with you because your heavenly father, your Abba father, your daddy is far better than any human father. Even if your human father has been great, Abba father is infinitely greater. And if your human father has had severe failures, you can look at the face of Jesus. And when you see Jesus, you've seen the father. So I pray with you here. Abba daddy, I thank you for my brother and sister watching this. I thank you for them. I thank you for your heart in them, that they're not your slaves, they're your children. They're your adopted, your predestined children, the ones you have loved from before the foundation of the world, Daddy. Uh, uh, You love them, you hug them, you kiss them at all times. You're in them, they're in you. I thank you for revealing yourself to them through your son, Jesus, and by your spirit. I thank you that they're united with you, one with you, holy and righteous. I thank you, Father, that they may see you with new eyes to see your glory and goodness in all things, to see themselves seated with you in the heavenly places that they're never separated from you, Daddy. Abba, we glorify you. We thank you, Daddy, for your hugs and your kisses, your tenderness, your kindness, and your goodness, for giving us your son, Jesus, to be one with you and your spirit to glorify you and celebrate life with you every day for eternity. (laughs) Bless you, my brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name, and the love of Abba.